In this Columbia Automatic Taper Repair video, I will be teaching you how to disassemble your taper in preparation for a tune-up. Here is a list of the tools you will need. The first step in doing a taper tune-up is to remove the taper cap. To do this, you need to first remove the two screws on either side of the top, and then loosen the four screws shown in the middle and the bottom. Now you are ready to remove the cap. Just pull back on the lip and up. Now that the cap has been removed, you will drop the plunger to the bottom of the taper tube. Before doing this, check that your clutch is disengaged so that the cable spool can freewheel. Then take a long skinny rod and push down on the plunger until it reaches the bottom of the tube. To disconnect the cable from the cable spool, you will need to back the screw that holds it in place off and then, using the needle nose pliers, disengage the cable ball from its slot in the spool. Now that the cable is disconnected, you can remove the plunger from the taper tube. Simply remove the three screws holding the bottom ring in place, remove the bottom ring, and then you can pull your plunger out. Now it's time to start disassembling the head. Start by removing the cotter pin that holds the cutter chain in place. Then remove the screw that holds the valve in place. Once this is out, you can remove the valve using pliers. With the same pliers, bend your chain guard back so that you can remove the lock nut that holds it in place. Then using an 11 32nd nut driver, remove the lock nut followed by the chain guard. To remove your cutter chain, just pull down on the key ring and allow it to enter the relief slot. Then guide the cutter chain out of the head and through the guide. Next you will remove your gear chain. Before doing this, take the tension off of your adjustable brake so that your top wheel can run free. Then take the pliers on the wide setting and close them onto where the chain meets the small sprocket. With your free hand, reverse the top wheel to remove the small sprocket, then remove the chain from the large sprocket.
Now you will remove the clutch. Using a 564 Allen key, remove the set screw that holds it all together. Make sure that the set screw is clean and that your Allen key is all the way in to avoid stripping it. Once the set screw is out, your clutch is free to come out. Remove the clutch rod and cable pulley, then remove your clutch. If you do not have the stainless steel cable drum with the relief holes in it, this can be a challenge as the mud dries between the spool and the clutch rod. Then just remove the cable drum from the head. Once the cable drum is out, you can remove the head bushings using a screwdriver. Next, take your cutter wheels off. The left wheel will just need the screw removed, and the right wheel will need the 11 30 seconds nut driver to remove the lock nut and then the screw. To remove the top wheel, there's a set screw located in the left hole on the wheel. Using a 564 Allen key, remove this set screw. Once it is out, you can remove the shaft, top wheel, and the shaft bushings. Now remove the creaser dog by backing its holding screw off. Remove the brake and brake pin by doing the same. Finally remove the creaser spring using needle nose pliers. Remove the creaser cable from the trigger strap by removing the screw and lock nut that hold it in place. In this next step, I show you how to remove the taper head. This does not have to be done, but it makes it easier to clean your tube. 
Remove the five screws that hold the head to the tube and then pull the head off of the tube. And finally, remove your creaser arms. To do this, loosen the lock nut to the right of the creaser wheel using an 11 seconds nut driver. Then remove the screw on the left hand side of the taper head. Once this is done, simply pop the short arm out of the side plate and pull the assembly out. Thank you for watching this video on the Columbia Automatic Taper. I hope you found it useful. Now that you have your taper apart, it is time to watch video number two to learn how to put it back together using your new wear parts. For more videos like this, please visit the Columbia Taping Tools Facebook page.